Good morning all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It's Monday morning, about 20 to 11. I have been doing my usual Monday morning thing of having my breakfast, going through all my emails and everything, and just sort of getting my day set up. I feel like shit this morning, and obviously it's from the second shingle shot that I got. I got it yesterday around five, and by seven or eight, I already started to feel like, ugh. By the time I'd had enough and was ready to go up and go to bed around 9.30, I definitely felt like shit. And I wanted to just go upstairs, take a nice shower, head into bed, and hope that a good night's sleep would let my body do its thing so that I woke up today and I felt fine. <laughs> Stupid body. No, I won't knock my body because the whole reason I feel like shit, it means that it's actually doing what it's supposed to do, which is taking that vaccine and making its little antibodies to protect me. So, yay science. Okay, today it looks like it's gorgeous and sunny out, but I don't think it's going to even get into the 40s and, you know, whatever, time of year. So I am just about getting ready to go to the chiropractor. Even though she shows that she's open all week, if I still feel like shit, I'm not going to go out this week because there's no way I'm driving all that way feeling like this just no way. But let's just hope for the best and say that I do feel good. I do not want to rush this, especially since it's getting so close to Christmas and miss my window to be able to get adjusted. So I'm just going to go this morning. I'm also not going to wait until the afternoon like I always do because I know what happens is that I get hung up on shit and then I miss it. And that's what happened to me on Friday. I just didn't have the time to go. Let's head to the chiropractor and get our little achy spine twisted back into condition. Okay, spiny, all better. And it wasn't that bad this time. And I knew it wasn't that bad. And like I told her, probably a good idea to come in before it all turns to shit. It's almost noon. I'm gonna go home and do that day job thing. Let's go. Change my mind. I'm gonna go to three ships and get some bean. Since I'm working on a deficit today, I thought maybe some extra caffeine would do me good. So I'm probably going to go get a shot of espresso and a... See, I can't even think of the drink that I have almost every day and have had almost every day for like five years. Um, the iced matcha. Jesus. See, I'm, I'm not firing on all cylinders at all. So that generally means... So that means that... I see, I already, I got a text and now that threw me off. <laughs> I can't think. Ugh. Okay, I better pay attention. Bean has been gotten. And this time, like I said, I got an espresso that I drank in three ships. And then I took this to go. But I did sit there for a little while, just floating through Instagram to give that uh, shot of espresso time to kick in. The only way it's kicked in is that I really have to pee. Let's just go home and do some day job stuff. Oh God, the freaking dust on here. It is Tuesday morning, about 20 after eight. A little bit behind my made up schedule, but for now, let's get some bean. Okay, so here I am. I've got 36 minutes to go. I've been driving for a while. It's kind of like, meh. It's sort of clouded up, so not the totally gorgeous day it was when I left Virginia Beach. Okay, <laughs> half an hour. <laughs> it's about 10 to two. I'm gonna get home probably by the time I stop and get gas and stop and see if there's any packages, probably about five o'clock. So full day, full day of driving around like an idiot. But I met awesome people, had a delicious lunch and got a lot of life stories in there. Good morning all, it's the Devious Monkey here. Yay. Somehow, I convinced her to get up and get dressed so that we could go to breakfast. So we're going to breakfast. It is Wednesday, December 21st, the shortest day of the year, the winter solstice. After this, they all start getting longer. Thanks, Zeus. Don't like those short, dark days. So I don't know what I have planned for today. I went on the road yesterday, did my stuff. There's certainly things for me to do day job wise, but I don't feel like it. So I don't know how much I'm going to do today, but we'll see.
I wondered how long I could go without saying anything before she did something. <laughs> okay, I, I honestly don't have anything to say anyway, so let's go snarf. <laughs> Ooh, ah. Uh... Okay, bellies are full of delicious breakfast. Now, on to more fun stuffs. Grocery shopping. Boo! Okay, kids, we just went grocery shopping because she's all hung up on this yogurt. And, uh, you know, we just walked around since we had the time to look. But currently, it is a freaking traffic nightmare around here. And, you know, before I start slamming into people, we need to get the hell out of here. <laughs> so, let's see. I didn't give you a weather. Look at that. So neat. You should turn the camera. Yeah, easier said than done. There. There's Santa and reindeers on top of this truck. <laughs> eh. Eh. <laughs> Just go all the way back to 10. Okay, anywho, yeah, so yay, festive. Funny, I'm in the store and the old woman that was doing the checking out was trying to determine if my hat was like blue or purple and I said it's black and she goes oh so you're not very merry then <laughs> I'm like uh actually uh it's black because I mean look at me man in black she's like oh my son used to do that <laughs> I'm guessing she didn't approve <laughs> it was kind of funny so yeah but it is sunny it's it's actually really nice out it's 45 Every place is overheated, so I'm literally schwitzing. So I think what I'm going to do is go home and grab my birding setup and go to Pleasure House Point and take a nice relaxing loop to sort of wind down a little bit from, you know, putting on my freaking pads and shit to go out shopping. <laughs> I'm kidding. I wouldn't wear pads. Maximum pain. Okay. <laughs> you have room to talk, Miss Hip Checker Elbow Thrower other people uh-huh anywho yeah let's go home and then go not home good morning all it's the devious monkey here it's thursday morning yeah it's thursday morning it's a little bit after 10 i have been doing a bunch of crap this morning and now i am about ready to head out to do some errands First of which is to feed myself. So I'm gonna go have breakfast and then I have to stop at the grocery store and get some stuff that we're gonna need. And I wanna do it before it gets crazy out with the holiday traffic, which has already started. And it's supposed to rain like 100% today, but it's supposed to be almost 60 degrees. Then it's supposed to drop to about 14. Yay. Okay, so let's get out there and get some food and run some errands. Okay, kids, it's now 3.20 on Thursday afternoon. The pissing rain is pissing right along. And I finally got all the parts and pieces for the new P365 X Macro gun that I got over the weekend. So I've just been waiting for everything to come in before I shoot it because I want to shoot it the way that I'm going to have it. So I got the Hollow Sun Red Dot and I got another Olight Mini 2 Valkyrie light for the rail, and that's what I was waiting on. So I got all that shit installed. I got my bag with all the ammo and everything, and I'm heading to the range now to put this thing through its paces. And then this will go into rotation as, as my pretty much everyday carry. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna go to the range now. I'm gonna probably be there, well, depending on how busy it is, and, and who knows with this, uh, I'm going to go and I'm going to just put this sucker through its paces and then we're going to come home and get out of this awful rain. Okay, good morning, kid. Oh, not good morning. It's good afternoon. Late start today. It's 10 to 2 on Friday. If I didn't cut it 
or I didn't mention it yesterday, I did not realize that I had today off. Big surprise, right? Yeah, I have today and Monday off, so I got a four-day weekend for Christmas. Yay! And pretty happy about that. So it has just been a nice leisurely day. We got up, we actually slept in, despite the yowling cat being insistent that we do not do that. We slept in, made breakfast, laid there and watched some Bob's Burgers, and then I went upstairs and started a little project. So I have a safe and I used to put, you know, my firearms in them, in it. And then I ended up switching all that around and putting different things in. I used to have a lot of stuff up in my office slash studio, but I ran out of space. And I also realized that I did not want to have all that ammo sitting in my office simply because of the fact that my neighbor's place burnt down and it freaked me out because I thought to myself, Jesus, if our place caught on fire, that would be a disaster because we would have to go past that to get out short of jumping out of window. And I thought that would not be a good thing. <laughs> I mean, it would just be a, a hailstorm of bullets going off if, if it caught on fire. And so that was enough to convince me that, okay, it's time to reconsider the, the ammo thing. So everything was rearranged and moved so that it was much safer for everybody involved. So I took the safe out of my office and it was down in the garage and I didn't have anything in it for the longest time. Now I'm thinking to myself, all right, I still don't want any ammo other than immediate ammo, like up in my office slash studio. I do want to put my firearms back in a safe. So I dug the safe out of the garage. Now here's the next dilemma. I haven't touched that thing for a few years and I could not remember the combination. Now I know that I save all that shit, so I just had to find it. And it's nothing short of going through the magical drawers, trying to find where I put that freaking original documentation that had the, the, you know, the safe instructions and everything, because it has a key as well, two-factor security. <laughs> so I started looking for it. And then I actually found the documentation and I was able to unlock the safe and open it up. And it still had the gun rack in it, <laughs> that, if that tells you anything. So now my firearms are safely stored and locked away and I'm happy about that. Otherwise, it is gorgeous and sunny. It was 50 something degrees this morning. It is now oh, pretty much two o'clock. It's dropped to 44 degrees by tonight. It will be in the teens. I think the coldest is like tomorrow morning at like five or 6 a.m. It's supposed to be 14 degrees and that doesn't include wind chill because the wind is really whipping. And apparently there's a lot of power out around the Hampton Roads area because of the wind and the cold. So we're gonna go get bean right now. That, that's why I'm out. It's the only reason I'm going out. But for now, let's go get some bean. Bean has been gotten and it's jam packed in there. Everybody needs that bean before the grind of the holidays, right? So, all right, let's get home and have bean. Okay, kids, it has been an interesting week. I've already, shot a different video with what was supposed to be the ending to this one. And, you know, that worked out conveniently. So tomorrow I'll have a video already made. But for this one, that's pretty much it. It was, like I said, a long week. I got a lot of gun stuff in this week and, and put my new everyday carry together, my SIG P365X macro. Uh, that's all done. It's in my rotation now. My safe is back upstairs here in the office and I've got all my shit in there. So now I'm going to settle into holiday festivities with uh, tomorrow and Sunday, obviously, and life will be grand. So that's all you get, which is a week's worth of stuff. I'm not going to do that all the time because I really miss posting every day. I've just been crazy busy and I haven't been able to. So that's all you get for today. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids forward and up.